It's Patrick LeGreed from Half Wheel, and today we're looking at a lighter you have likely never heard of unless you happen to get your accessories from a little retailer called Amazon.com. Now, with the pandemic and its related delays in shipping over the past year or so, the release of new cigar accessories has really slowed down in late 2020 and into 2021. And as you might know, my colleague Charlie Minato is doing a series of humidor reviews where he is trying to find the ideal starter or basic humidor. That is, one that's about $175, holds 50 to 75 cigars, and more or less looks like a traditional humidor. Now, as part of that test, he turned to Amazon to see what the options would be for someone looking at that retailer for a humidor. So, when we struggled to figure out what lighter to review, we did the same thing. We turned to Amazon to see what came up when searching for cigar lighter, and in particular, what was getting the coveted Amazon's Choice Stripe. And as of March 23rd, 2021, that was this, the Top K Triple Torch. Now, I should say that while the Top K is still available, the Amazon's choice designation has since changed to a tabletop lighter called the Kalea Torch Lighter, which is also a triple torch, but a fairly different design from this. Now, the Top K certainly looks like a number of value-oriented lighters from the companies you've likely heard of, such as Jetline, Vertigo, Palio, and Firebird, which is part of Calibri, as well as many others. It's a triple torch with a translucent plastic body, but as expected, the lighter doesn't offer much in the way of added features. There's no built-in cutter, for instance, or really anything. It does offer the oversized flame adjustment wheel, which I really like, but beyond that, it's the translucent tank and the billing of being a single-action ignition, although that really isn't the case. It's actually not even remotely the case, to be honest. I don't think that I have managed to get this to be a single-action ignition in the weeks that I've been using it. In fact, it takes two or three clicks to get the lighter burning, and that's with both regular butane from a couple of manufacturers and Zycar's high-performance option. Now, let's turn off the lights and take a look at that flame. So the first thing you'll notice is that you hear two clicks, and I'll explain a little bit more of that later. Now again, it's a triangular arranged triple flame torch. Nice arrangement. They're not angled into one another. So you do get a nice column of flame, and I will turn this up to give you a little more of an idea. This can actually get pretty sizable if you really want to work it. I don't necessarily think there's a reason to do that because all you're doing is making the torch longer um, and hotter and wasting more butane. So again, not really my thing. But again, nice flame right there. Nice solid triple torch. Very familiar design. So let's turn the lights back up. Now, as with most all triple torch lighters, the Top K offers a lot of flame and is definitely geared towards bigger cigars, or at least it does better with bigger cigars. I will say that the three flames are impressively tight in their arrangement, as you saw, shooting seemingly perfectly straight up with no splay. Now, if you use it with a Lancero or other skinny Vitola, you'll want to hold it a ways away, but you can certainly make it work by taking a bit of extra care during the lighting process. Now, the flame adjustment wheel offers the Top K Triple Torch a bit of range, but I really don't think there's much benefit to cranking it up. As I said, it's more or less just making the flame taller, and this already offers plenty of flame at a middle-of-the-range setting. A higher setting only makes this burn through more butane faster than it already does. Now, it's not a guzzler, but it's certainly far from being a butane sipper. Where the lighter really shines is its price. Now, currently, you can get two of these in a set on Amazon, delivered to your door, for $14.97 if you have prime shipping, which this qualifies for. That means that two of these is about the same price as the cheapest option at your local shop for one of the established brands, especially once you factor in taxes. Now, not to mention the cost of gas and the time to go get it. And even without the coupon that Amazon usually seems to always have, it's $16.97 for two, both of which come in black, which is this model right here. It also comes in a little basic presentation box, which uh, you can wrap easily in case it's a gift. Um, again, like I said, there's no color choice. They call this black. I sometimes think it's smoke gray, but you get the point. Now, I will say that I have mixed feelings about the Top K for a couple of reasons. Number one, the latching lid, or rather that the catch will eventually wear out and thus not, not stay closed. And this is something we've seen some other manufacturers move away from in recent years. So as you can tell, when you press that down, it pulls down that little latch and the lid flops open. Now, what ends up happening is that most people don't push down the lid and then pull down to release the friction on it, and that little piece eventually wears out. The lid doesn't stay closed. It just springs open and stays open. So again, something I'm not terribly crazy about, and it also picks up a little bit more friction when you close it. 
Now, I'm also not going to pretend that I don't think that this 7 or $8 lighter is just going to keep working indefinitely. Given its price, I'll probably just throw it away, and I'm not going to send it in for warranty because, from what I can tell, there isn't a warranty, so I'm not really thrilled about a disposable torch lighter. Now, the big thing that you probably noticed is that this lighter takes a couple of clicks to get going, especially once it's been at rest. Now, I just fired it up a little bit, but you can see, even within a minute or two, it still needs a second click. Even three, let's try four. I may even have to turn this up a little bit. You can see this is kind of the problem with the Top K Triple Torch. Now, there you go. Now it finally lights. And as you can see, I have plenty of butane in there. There's no shortage of fuel. But for whatever reason, the butane seems to kind of drip down from the ignition point, and you usually end up having to click it one, or at least twice, not three times. Now, it'll stay lit when I have butane up there already. But again, this is probably the biggest hang-up of the Top K Triple Torch. You're going to light it two or three times before you get a flame, especially once it comes out of your pocket. Now, that all said, if you're not hung up on a brand, at least not one of the main brands, you like a value and you don't mind the need to push the ignition button two to three times to get the lighter burning, the Top K is certainly a viable choice. And if you happen to like Amazon and don't live near a cigar store, it's another viable choice. And once burning, it does just as good a job of lighting your cigar as anything from the more established and well-known brands. Personally, I am just annoyed enough by the need for multiple ignition clicks that I don't recommend it. But for value forward performance, it's a decent option and one that I have a feeling will get some use for as long as it keeps working and stays in my collection. So that's the Top K Triple Torch. Thanks for checking out this review and for checking out halfwheel.com.